Yo, 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 guys, what is up? This is Bryce back to you from the Inglorious Reapers, and today we're doing a Minecraft bucket server tutorial. There are, I'm going to be showing you the main three steps that we have to do. The first one is create the server, the second one is to port forward, and the third step is to put a static IP. So I will, I'll explain what the static IP is later, but before we start, you need to do like this. Well, you need to do this before you do anything. So if you're on Windows 7, click your start button and search folder. I'm on Windows 8, so if you have Windows 8, do this. Folder, options. And then click on folder options. Now you want to view. And where it says hidden files and folders right here, you want to click on show hidden files and folders and drives. Make sure that's clicked. If it's and if you don't want this after the tutorial's done, just come back here and click don't show. But for this, you need to turn this on. Click apply. Click OK. Now what you want to do is create the server. So I will leave every single link that we go in for websites in the description. So the first two that you want to go to are dl.bucket.org and bucket.org. So now what you want to do is go to dl.bucket.org. Now you get brought to this page. You can click this one. This is the latest build. But what I like to do is click on this little box down here, which says alternate versions. And it gives you all of the versions for the Minecraft servers. So it'll tell you 1.6.3. Four. That's the Minecraft server version. I know 1.72 is out right now, but they do not have it out yet. It's a very hard thing, but anyways, let's get back to it. So this will work for anything. If it's 1.72, 1.8, whatever, it'll be on here. And to download it, you click these little boxes over here. Pretty simple. So I'm going to download the recommended build. You can click on it like that and it'll show you all the recommended bills for every single version but since I clicked on it I want to click on the download button right there it'll pop up something right here and I'm just gonna click save now I'm going to be back to you when that is done download oh no no never mind I'm gonna stay here and go to bucket.org and it'll pop up this kind of page and as I said about the 1.72 but what you want to do is go to get craft bucket It'll bring you to this page. Scroll down. Now this is for Windows only. If you're on Linksys or Mac, um, it, this probably won't work for you, but for Windows, you want to find this code. This code will be in the description also. Now what you want to do is copy it all like this. Right click, copy. Let's just close that. And you're good with that. Now you can close both of them. I'm going to leave that one open for now though. And now what you want to do is right click on your desktop, make a new folder, and name it whatever. I named mine Minecraft Server. Now in this folder, what you want to do is... Hold on one second. Sorry guys about that. I'm back. Um, had to go to the bathroom, but I'm back. Okay, so what you want to do is open two different tab so I'm going to open the Minecraft server folder and my downloads so now you see the craft bucket and it has all this stuff behind it that's good now you want you can close your downloads click on it right click rename now rename it to everything just make it craft bucket delete everything after that and make it craft bucket click and it saves now what you want to do is right click new text document name this whatever it doesn't really matter you can open the text document we'll open the text document paste the code that you had just copied now this code right here this is for how much RAM you're dedicating 1024 is one gigabyte 512 is half a gigabyte which I'm just gonna do half a gigabyte of RAM 
and then click save at go to file save as now it'll pop you up in this folder now what you want to do is erase the file name and name it whatever you want you can name it startup this will start up your server whoops spelled that wrong I'm just gonna name it run dot B A T remember that B A T you have to put that then click save now it'll be a Windows batch file which that's what you want now delete the text document you'll see the difference between the two little icons now delete the text document you do not need that anymore now what you have to now to run the server you double click on it and boom you have a server now but nobody can none of your friends can join your server none of your family can join it so I'm just gonna let this load up everything pops up in your folder and boom you have your server so I'm just gonna let all this load up let the world load up and all that so for your first time loading up your world it's gonna prepare the entire world once you run it more times it'll load up basically instantly which is nice and then you have your server properties your whitelist everything that you need is in here I recommend going into your ops folder and putting your minecraft name okay so back out of that let's see it's almost done after this is done I will go over to port forwarding and that will not be very hard so sorry about the background so is it almost done yes very close very close so as you can tell done now to stop the server you just want to type in stop stop and click enter it'll stop the server and close the window automatically closing this will cr basically be a crash on your server and not save anything so I recommend not doing that this saves everything and puts it in here and then you push any key to continue it doesn't close automatically I'm sorry now I will be back to you on how to port forward okay be right back okay guys I'm back and I have this prepared so what you want to do now is if you're on Windows 7 click your start button type in run it'll pop up and if you're on regular Windows 8 right click at the bottom left and click run but if you're on Windows 7 get run and then it'll pop up this what you want to type in is CMD very simple click OK it'll pipe up, pop up this prompt just like your server did but in this one what you want to type in is IP config space slash all it'll pop up all this stuff all you need to do is scroll up where it says wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi now all of this stuff is what you're going to need in the future and stuff so what you want to see right now is this IPv4 address and you see all these little numbers now what you want to do is oh no 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 I'm sorry sorry this default gateway you want to type in this default gateway into your internet browser so mine is 192.168.2.1 so I'm gonna to go to my internet browser type in 192.168.2.1 yours will yours might be the same but it differs on the router that you have I have a Belkin router now you want to find something that's under like port forwarding or like virtual servers or basically anything like that so I don't have a password to just submit now I've already I already have a server but here is what you have to do so all this will be blank but what you want to do is make two different ones call one minecraft whatever you want to call it call another one something and then something else just it can't be perfectly the same inbound port 25565 same with the other one make sure you click enable on them type one should be TCP the other ones UDP you yeah UDP now private port 25565 25565 now the private IP address what you want to do is go back into this command prompt <laughs> command prompt and this IPv4 address you want to see at the very last two numbers so 0.15 so you type in those two numbers right there same thing the only thing different about these is the name 
and UDP and TCP. Now what you need to do is click apply changes or set changes, whichever it says, and it'll restart your router. So I recommend not doing this when other people are on your router or anything. Do it late at night, whatever. But it'll restart your router and put these settings to it. Your router will not mess up. This is just fine. So now what you want to do is that's basically all port forwarding is. So I will be back to you on how to set up a static IP and explain what it is. Okay, be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and I would like to show you how to set up a static IP. So a static IP is regularly you have a dynamic IP, which means it obtains any like those last two digits that you saw right here. It'll your computer will obtain any two digits or any digit right there. And you want that to stay as the one that you put on your server or your router. So how to do that is to say a static IP, which will keep it stuck. So what you want to do is find in your bottom right, you want to right click and go to open network and sharing center. Something should pop up like this. Now you want to go to connections, click on whatever it is right there. Now go to properties. Now this whole thing will pop up. Now all you want to mess with is this internet protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4. Not 6, 4. Now what you want to do is click on it, click OK. Oh whoops. <laughs> whoops. Okay. Go back into it. Well I messed up. Sorry. I'm gonna go back into it, click double click it, and this will pop up. This normally will be like this. I'm going to type in this for you. So now you want to click on use the following IP address. Make sure you have this window still open. I'm just going to make it a little bigger. Oh no, actually I'm going to make it like this. Okay, I'm going to zoom it down to what I need. Now, this is all the stuff that you need. Very, very simple. So IP address. Make it... Oops. <laughs> A little confusing. IP address is your IPv4 address. So you want to make it 192.168.2.15. Do not make it the exact same as mine. Whatever yours is, you put there. Subnet mask. Put your subnet mask. Oh, it, it normally, it should pop in normally. My bad, forgot about that. Default gateway. Put in your default gateway. 192.168.2 and 1. Now down here on preferred DNS server, it should be DNS servers right there. 192.168.2 and 1. Now you want to click OK. This will restart your Wi-Fi. Watch IPv4 connectivity. It'll say I go offline real quick. Well, oh no, actually it doesn't, but for yours, your computer will, internet will go off for a second. And if it doesn't come back on within about 30 seconds, go back into properties. Oops, sorry, sorry, take a little bit. Go back in and turn it off because you're, if you didn't do it right, make sure that you do it perfectly. So if this happens, make sure to put this to back here to obtain IP address automatically. And that is how you set up a static IP. Now, how do your friends connect to your server? This is very easy. You can close out of all this stuff. Now, all you need to do is go to one website. Let me just close out of this. Oh no, I'm gonna leave this open. You wanna go to Google, type in IP, chicken now I'm not gonna click on this because it'll show you my IP address but all you do is click on the website and in a big circle right here well not a circle but it'll show you your IP address right here very very simple too very easy now you give that IP address to your friends and in Minecraft you Go to you tell your friends to go to add server and they connect with that to open your server Simple as going finding your run startup, whatever you called it 
and double clicking it. This is how you start up your server. And once it's all loaded up, see how it loads up much faster now. Now when it says done, your server your server is up. You tell your friends connect to it with your IP address, your IP address, not theirs, and you're done. That is how you set up a server, port forwarding, and a static IP address. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked the video, please give it a like, comment on it. If you have any questions, I will reply to everything. And leave a subscribe if you want to see any more tutorials, content, Minecraft, anything of that nature. Okay, see you guys. Peace.